ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, I hope you guys love the new intro. Anyways, last night was lit. The damn tea sippers got invited to YouTube Black and I had a wonderful time and a lot of people told me that they love my I don't give a shit news and I'm like, you know what? Perfect because I had some I don't give a shit news to spill to you guys today, okay? So who made this week's episode of I don't give a shit news? The three people who made this episode is one, Lil Wayne, Two, his long-suffering fiance, Dia Sodano, and then Stephanie from VH1's Cartel Crew, okay? I am a singer and things are looking amazing for me. I have young money ready to just close the deal. I don't have any concerns for the cartel background hindering my music. And why am I going to cover something up that is a part of who I was when I was younger? So I'm gonna go ahead and break down what the hell went on and why I don't give a shit about any of this, okay? I don't give a shit! Y'all wanted my opinion? Here it goes. So what's going down is this. Once again, Lil Wayne is playing his long-suffering girlfriend, Dia. If you guys do not know, him and Dia, they have been engaged now for the past eight years. And you know, usually Dia is quiet. You know, she just kicks back with Lil Wayne. You'll see her at the basketball games. She doesn't really get too much involved in social media fuckery. But for some reason, Lil Wayne creeping with Stephanie from the cartel crew has definitely gotten under Dia's skin, okay? So this is what went down on social media the other day, honey. I was sitting there gathering all the screenshots and sipping slow, bitch, okay? So y'all go ahead and check this out. So Dia posts a picture of Stephanie and she basically says this. When you're fucking your boss for years and realize you're still in the same place that you started. So then after that, Stephanie says this. People throw shade to the ones they are intimidated the most by. I have a dream, a passion. I wake up every morning to be productive, to be the best version of myself. I work my ass off. What did you do today? Then Dia responds and she says, sis, you better know what these big words mean before you use them. Let's start with this one today. Then she posts the meaning of intimidate. Then she goes on to say, don't message me either because I ain't finna waste my time reading that fake shit. Message the dude that you think care about you so much. Side note, real women never fuck another woman's man, period. And people will respect you more if you're honest. Bye, sis. Then she goes on to say this. Can't wait to go to sleep. Oh, and to all you side bitches that make fake pages just to comment some dumb shit on my page, y'all are lame as fuck. Why don't you comment with your real pages, you scary stan thot? LOL, bye. Honey. <laughs> so anyways, this situation is a hot damn mess, and I'm gonna tell y'all why I don't give a shit about this situation, okay? I don't give a shit! Yes, you better tell him, sir. Anyways, this is why I don't give a shit about this situation. Like I said, any other time this long suffering fiance, Dia is quiet and minding her own business. I'm not sure why Stephanie got her all upset and in her feelings, but obviously she must see more of a connection between Wayne and Stephanie and it's getting to her, okay? Because my thing is this, while Dia and Lil Wayne were engaged, they've been engaged for eight years, Christina Milian was fucking the shit out of Lil Wayne, okay? She was very public with it. People went so far as to claim Christina Milian and Lil Wayne as a couple and totally ignored the fact that he was still engaged and was with Dia, okay? Lil Wayne was also fucking Canvas Carbria and guess what? Dia didn't say anything either, okay? So ma'am, if you didn't say shit back in 2014 or 2015, don't get bold now in 2019, okay? You know the type of man you have. You know Lil Wayne is not faithful. You know 
damn well, Dia, that Lil Wayne keeps a whole harem of women, okay? If you expect Lil Wayne to be faithful, um, you got another thing coming. He has not been faithful to you this entire eight years that you've been engaged to him. So instead of taking your anger and frustration out on Stephanie, honey, you need to look in the mirror and be angry and frustrated with yourself and also be angry and frustrated with Lil Wayne. Because what I notice about a lot of women, it's always easy to blame the side chick and go off on the side chick, but then they won't use that same energy to one, get themselves out that negative situation, and then for two, to check the man who's putting them through the heartache and the drama, okay? So instead of you being mad at Lil Wayne, you're going off on her when you really should be going off on Lil Wayne and you really should be doing some self-reflecting because I'm sorry, if, a, if you've been engaged to a man for eight years and he's still refusing to walk down the aisle, Sorry, sis, that man is not that into you, okay? Lil Wayne was married before. Let's not forget he was married to Latoya Wright, okay? They were married for several years. So if he really wanted to get married to you, sis, he would, okay? So you need to take all that frustration of being a long-suffering fiance like Kim Bella and all these other women out here who hold on to these rappers just to have some type of claim to fame. Um, you need to take your anger and frustration out on him, sis, okay? Not Stephanie. Now, as far as Stephanie, I don't respect you either because you I know how I feel about side chicks. I have no respect for side chicks, okay? Um, because these same side chicks will come into a situation willing and super happy to be the side chick, and then they forget their fucking position. Then they start trying to act like the main chick. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna be a side chick, play your role. Stay behind the scenes. Be on the side. Stop trying to look for fame and notoriety by being the side chick, okay? Find some respect for yourself. There's plenty of fish out here in the sea. You don't have to go around fucking other people's boyfriends, husbands, and everything else, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this week's episode of I Don't Give a Shit News. Are you pressed, stressed, and bothered about this situation? Or are you like me and just don't damn give a shit, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. I don't give a shit!